Sri Lanka national Rizan Anafik, who was being held at the Dawadmi prison in Saudi Arabia since 2005 after being convicted of killing a four month old infant, was executed at 11.40 a.m. Saudi Arabian time today, seven years after. Although those responsible for sending her abroad when she was underage have been brought before the law, her death has not erased major question marks over whether or not such incidents will reoccur in the future. On Monday, News First visited Rizana's home in Mutur and spoke to her mother. This is what she had to say. <laughs> She went with the hope of educating her siblings. She sacrificed her own education. Her father was also facing problems at the time. It is amid all these hardships that she went abroad. There is nothing in our house. We are living with much difficulty. She was determined to go overseas. Her father is in hospital because he keeps thinking of her and his pressure has gone up. Rizana Nafik arrived in Saudi Arabia in April 2005 to work as a housemaid. The 17-year-old was arrested a month later at the house she was working at on the charge of murdering a four-month-old infant who had been entrusted to her care. The Saudi police claimed that Rizana had killed the infant by choking him during bottle feeding. However, Rizana claimed that the baby had choked on the milk. On the 16th of June 2007, she was sentenced to death by the Dawadni High Court. All appeals had been exhausted by July 2010. After the Supreme Judicial Council ratified the death sentence, President Mahindra Rajapaksa made an appeal for clemency from the Saudi king. Since then, several attempts have been made and negotiations undertaken to secure a stay of execution and a pardon. Rizana was executed today at 11.40 a.m. Saudi Arabian time after several failed pleas for clemency by the Sri Lankan government, including the president and human rights organizations. Minutes after the execution, News First contacted the South Asia Director of Human Rights Watch, Meenakshi Ganguly. This is a really, really unfortunate development. We had appealed to the Saudi Arabia government to, to, to cancel this execution, but President uh, of Sri Lanka had also sent, a, sent, a, sent an appeal, and the Saudi Arabian government has um, acted on, 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 the, on the death penalty. Uh, you know, human rights watch has always opposed the death penalty in all circumstances because of its inherent cruelty and because it is irreversible. And here is a case where all these arguments hold. This was a 17-year-old girl. We don't know whether she even received a fair trial. Uh, she was. She's always said that she was forced to confess. She was a child when this incident occurred. For all these reasons, this is why we keep saying the death penalty has to be. It has to end worldwide. Rizana's death and the numerous cases of abuse of housemaids that are being reported from the Middle East place a massive question mark over their safety and security in an alien nation. One can only hope that Rizana, who aspired to educate her siblings and bring a better tomorrow for her family in life, will at least be able to ensure a better tomorrow for her compatriots in death.